So you've just had a big increase in your self-awareness when it comes to anxious moments. Where do you go from here? Well, the next step in your emotional intelligence journey after self-awareness is self-regulation, also known as self-management. So let's get into how you're going to manage these anxious feelings. Mindfulness is a buzzword that's thrown around a lot these days, but it's something that comes down to having the awareness of the feeling that you're feeling. So if you're feeling anxious, having the awareness to start. So having that mindfulness. The core of what I want to get across here is that you need to be present and acknowledge whatever the feeling is. So if we're talking about anxiousness, for example, so you need to be present and acknowledge it. So don't try to turn away from it. Don't try to stop it. Don't try to hold it back. You can kind of imagine some of these darker emotions like a cloud passing over. You wouldn't try to put a cage around a cloud, would you? That sounds stupid. That's never going to work. You're just going to waste a bunch of effort and the cloud is still going to be there. So you just need to acknowledge some of these things. So if you're anxious, so you need to acknowledge it. And then you can work to deal with the emotion in terms of taking tactical steps to try to either reduce the possibility that the emotion comes up again or to deal with the underlying problem. Dealing with the underlying problem is probably the best course of action in terms of how you should expend your energy. So now that you're aware that you have this emotion, now regulating it, either having acceptance or just acknowledging it and sitting with it. So I know I've previously found this where before I had any awareness, I would always feel so weird because I didn't know how to label things. So I didn't have labels. I didn't know how to, I just felt, oh, this is very tense. It's, it's, it's like a Ned Flanders kind of blow up. That's what we're talking about here, where it just like all these feelings that have been bottling up for years and years could have an explosive moment at work. And you don't want that to be happening at work. You don't really want that to be happening at all. So having the awareness and starting to learn to regulate your emotions. So maybe you can learn how to not show them at work if that's the path you choose, but you need to choose it. So you need to actually go through the motions here and figure out how you want to show yourself at work, how authentic you want to be and what you want to show people around you emotionally. So do you actually want to open up to them or do you want to be closed off and hyper professional? That's in your court and I won't, make that decision for you. How do you regulate your emotions in the office? You should drop me a comment below if you have a really good strategy, maybe something I haven't thought of because I'm always open-minded and I love to hear how people deal with their stronger emotions when they're in an office environment where they need to be professional all the time. I don't have a silver bullet for you and this is where these emotional intelligence topics become part of what they like to call softer skills. I really think that social and emotional intelligence is really what sets the top performers apart from the rest of the pack, especially in an engineering or technical organization, because it's really one of those delineating factors that you need to work at to get good at, because this isn't something that you will just casually walk into. If you see someone around you that's better at regulating or managing their emotions, maybe you can start asking them how they do that. This would be a great way for you to start increasing your professional social network. How do they manage their emotions? Maybe you can find a mentor or someone that can help you deal with these things or deal with particular players that are making you feel a certain way. So if you're feeling anxious in the office, you need to start figuring out how you can regulate this emotion and manage it better. I personally have found that trying to look forward to how am I going to not do this in the future or to bring awareness to my group that I'm having problems with this is the way that I can help ease that emotion and bring presence to it because having the presence to acknowledge that it's happening instead of trying to fight it and say no i don't want to feel anxious no that's not what we're trying to do here we're trying to acknowledge it and be like wow this is making me feel anxious you kind of need to have a almost a third party experience to this here where it's like wow this is making me feel anxious why is this doing this and as you increase your awareness you can start to regulate that better through your actions so you can try to not put yourself in that situation or to call it out to whatever person or process is causing you to have these anxiousness episodes or whatever it is. So again, I don't have any silver bullets for you and this is a nuanced topic and self-regulation being the second step after awareness is typically something that's a bit harder to talk about because you need to know that it's there 
But if you know that it's there, you might already be halfway there to dealing with it, right? At least in my videos, I find it a challenge because you already are aware, why don't you just be taking action? It's like, oh, I see, that's the second part. Oh. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.